Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is called Model with Arrays. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Okay, so our common core strand is given there, and so our essential question is, how can we use arrays to solve division uh, problems? So I'm going to, we have a couple of examples here, so let's just uh, do a little prior knowledge, you guys. This is how I tell the difference between rows and columns. Rows go sideways right here, columns go up and down. Well, that doesn't help me. What I do is I think of a Colosseum, you guys. See, there's a Colosseum. And these things right here are called the columns. And so if you can see these columns, they go up and down So uh, in the Colosseum. So columns are the ones that go up and down, and rows are the ones that go sideways. Okay, so here, we're going to um, use these 30 tiles to make an array to find out how many rows of 5 are in 30. And so later, we'll find out this is 30 divided by 5. But So we'll make uh, a row of 5 tiles, and then we'll continue to make a, uh, as many rows of 5 tiles as we can. And then we'll count to see how many rows we made. So how many rows of 5 did we make on this? Okay, so let's do one of them at a time. Let's make a row of five tiles right here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and and uh, slide this guy down, and we're going to make a row of five tiles. Let's see, I'll grab this one. I'll grab uh, this guy right here. Uh, I'm going to make a one row of five tiles, okay? Just doing one of those things at a time. So there's, there's five tiles right there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, continue to make as many rows of five tiles as we can. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just keep going. There's one row of five tiles. Let's do another one. So here's a, another row of five tiles. It's kind of hard to do this fast, you guys. I'll do a few rows, and I'll just skip ahead right here. Okay, so here's a... Um, uh, the second row of five tiles right there and it says to continue to do this until we run out of tiles up there so let me do one more so there's two rows of five tiles here's the third row of five tiles and we just keep going until we use up all the tiles and when we do that then we count up how many rows that we made right here okay all right so here we go. So uh, I'm going to continue doing that, and I'll just save some time and, and click ahead right here. I've done that, but right here. So, so we continue to make as many rows of five tiles as we can, and now we can just count up how many rows of five did we make. Okay, so here's one row of five, two rows of five, three, four, five, six. So we made six rows uh, of five tiles right there. Okay, so explain how we use the tiles to find the number of rows of five and 30. Well, uh, we placed five tiles in a row, and then we continued placing five more tiles in rows until all the 30 tiles were used. And then we just counted up the rows. Okay, so what multiplication equation can we write for the array and explain? All right, well, remember, here's our array that we had. So here was one row of five. Here was two rows of five, three, four, five, six. So there were six rows of five tiles right there. So we can call this six times five equals 30 because six rows of five columns made 30 squares or six rows of five tiles makes 30 squares, okay? So, uh, uh, tell how we can use an array to find how many rows of 6 are in 30. Well, we can do the same thing. It's instead of making uh, rows of 5, we would make rows of 6. Okay, so we'd get 30 tiles and we'd make rows of this many. So, rows of 6 tiles and continue to make rows of 6 tiles until we used up all the 30 tiles. And then we can count how many rows of 6 there would be. So, or we can take the answer that we had from before. Here's... Um, uh, six rows of five tiles. That's for the answer from before. So if we just took this thing and, and twisted it sideways right there, okay? And then so here is five rows of six tiles. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here's one row of six, two rows of six, three rows of six, four rows of six, five rows of six. So this could be five times six, which also equals 30, just like six times five did prior. So we can write a division equation to show how many rows of 5 are in 30 also. So uh, the math idea is we can divide to find the number of equal rows or to find the number of, uh, in each row. So, so use the array we just made. We can get the division equation right here. So we had uh, 30 tiles all together, and we divided it into 5 
uh, uh, rows of 5, so 30 divided by 5. And remember, when we did 30 divided by 5, that gave us 6 rows of 5 tiles in 30. Okay, so there, here's my 6 rows of 5 tiles. So 30 divided by uh, 5 is just equal to 6. Okay, so we can do division equations to uh, uh, with the rays right here and, and solve them. So let's try this, you guys. Uh, count out 24 tiles, and then we'll make an array with the same number of tiles in four rows this time. And we'll place one tile in each of the four rows, then continue placing one tile in each of the rows until we use up all the tiles. Okay, so here's 24 tiles right there. Okay, and what we're going to do now is make an array with the same number of tiles in each of the four rows. So we're going to uh, take all these tiles and start lining them up. Here's Here's one row, it's going to go across, and then here's two rows, here's three rows, four rows, okay? So now, let's place one tile in each of the four rows. Let me go ahead and place this tile over here in this row. We'll place this tile, and we'll just keep doing this. So there's, we're just doing, uh, placing one tile in each of the four rows right here, okay? So that's what this sentence says in blue right here, okay? And then there's that guy right there, and then the next sentence... Let's do one sentence at a time. So the next sentence says continue placing, so we'll do that in blue. Now we'll continue placing one tile in each row until we use up all the tiles. Okay, so I'll place another one in this row. I'll place another one in this row. Okay, when it's just we're just going to keep doing it. So there's another one in this row, and then another one in this row. Okay, so now we have two in each row, but I have a bunch more over here. So here, let's do another one. So here's uh, we're placing one tile in each row, okay? Because that's what it says, place one tile in each row. Okay, so there's three in each row, but I still have some more tiles over here. So let's do another one tile in each row, okay? So there's one tile right there. There's one tile. Okay, I'm almost done. Hang in there, hang in there. There's one tile. And then here's one tile. So Look, so now we have four, but I still have a little bit more over here, so let's keep going. Place one tile in each row, okay? One tile, one tile, all right, one tile, and looks like I can do one more set in each row right there, okay? So yeah, there's four over there, so those will get placed right over there. So how many tiles are in each row, okay? So there's, remember, there's four rows right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six tiles in each row right there, okay? So write a division equation that we can write for this array, okay? Well, we started with 24 tiles, and we made, uh, we made uh, uh, four rows right here. So this would be 24 divided by 4 equals, and they gave us six tiles in each row. So 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Okay, now if we, they, it asked us, and it doesn't, but if it did ask us to write a multiplication equation, I would say 4 times 6 equals 24 tiles altogether right there. They count them all up, okay? So explain how making the array helps us divide. All right, well, when given a division problem or an equation such as 24 divided by 4, we can use the counters, 24 counters, uh, or tiles uh, to find out how many rows of 4 are in 20 uh, in 24 okay so and recall from a couple of lessons ago if we had 24 divided by 4 equals 6 the 24 is called the dividend the 4 is called the divisor because it's being divided into 24 and then the answer is called the quotient right there okay all right you guys I hope this lesson made sense take care